Hello, hello everybody. We're playing Sea of Stars today. I finally got it to work on my uh on my stream labs. There we go, there it is. Very excited to play this game. My webcam is inverted, but let me fix that. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. There we go. Yeah, we're playing Sea of Stars today. I'm very excited about this game. Um I have not seen too much about it but we're gonna go into it blind and we're gonna see what happens um so yeah without further ado i guess let's hit play and see where the sea of stars takes us so we're going new game let me make sure all my settings are correct actually first Okay, it should be all right. I don't know what pixel perfect is, so I'm not gonna touch that. Um, okay. New game. Bum, 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 bum. Sea of Stars has two main characters. Select the one who will lead the party. Um, we could be Zale or Valir. A blade dancer born in the summer solstice walks the path of the guardian god Solon. A monk born on the winter solstice walks the path of the guardian goddess Luana. Uh, I think we're gonna go Zale here. Just because I like. I honestly like his design better. And we could change it apparently. Oh, those sounds. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, the loading screen too. Oh, you couldn't see it because of my camera, but oh. This game is so pretty. Welcome to the Great Archives Adventure. I suppose curiosity brought you here. An important trade to be sure. I am the archivist and an immortal an immortal versed in the ways of Elk. I need to focus on reading. <laughs> I cannot read. But perhaps you knew that already? After spending millennia cataloging the many events of countless timelines, I decided to return here to mull over everything I had seen. In my musings about the stories that fill these books and scrolls, I had a recent epiphany. It seemed that in my haste, I may have overlooked the very thing I was hoping to find. As such, there is one special story I wish to revisit, one deserving of a witness. And should the mists of time allow a slight alteration, I believe the ray of hope that was once offered may yet bloom. That's the ray of hope. He's peeking out. Little guy. So walk with me tonight and we will explore a tale of high adventure, of magic and deceit, of friendship and wonder, but mostly a tale of heroism. One that I believe will offer valuable insight in the search for a resolution to the throes of the Fleshmancer. Now I remain a bit lost amidst all these timelines and all their subtle variations. But I know just the one to make for a perfect starting point. He's grabbing a book. He's gonna read to us? Let us see what we find in there. Ah, yes! Our story begins in a world visited by the Fleshmancer generations prior, causing much turmoil and leaving a mark that has yet to be fully cleansed. Somewhere on Evermist Island, two brave children of the Solstice are on their way to meet with an immortal spirit. In order to become fully-fledged Solstice Warriors, they will need to learn how to use magic without using magic. How does that work, I wonder? <laughs> Hang on, I'm gonna... I do not get disturbed. While I stream, puppy lay down. Good boy. Mountain Trail. Ooh. All right, we made it to the mountain trail. So far, so good. I like this art style and the music. Oh, so the Elder Mist lives somewhere here, huh? Do you think it's just another test? Could be, but it sure beats sitting at the academy. And sewing. <laughs> Who does not like sewing? Yeah, I'm sure glad that's over with. Apply yourselves, for the will you weave into it shall be your sole defense in times of greatest need. She has purple eyes, that's badass. While the lessons taught here may appear to be lost on you, something deep inside is compelled to learn. Ha ha! 
Hey, the sun will be setting soon. We should prepare to set up camp. Let's split up and search for a good spot. Uh oh. I don't like when they split up. Time for some scouting. Oh shit. I'm coming through. Our first fight, okay. Um Ooh. This battle music is, is something else. Okay, wanderer. He did 10 damage. He's gonna attack now. 12? That's not that bad. Oh, we got him. Brew Gaves wasn't kidding. These feel easier to fight already. Let's see where this leads. Who's Brew Gaves, I wonder? Oh, okay, so you press space to jump or climb. I love this art style, man. Oh. What the fuck is that? It's got rocks on him and like tusks. Sounds like a goat. He's watching me. Oh! He's attacking me. I can't use those yet. What are you? Rochevre? Rochevre? Hmm. Damn, he does a lot. Okay, wow. Oh, here's a skill. Sunball? Solar magic projectile that splashes to nearby targets. Ooh, I like that. Hold space for power. Damn! That's sick as fuck. Zael, found anything? Just a dead end. How about you? Nothing of note, but the way to the top is definitely through here. The sun is setting. Come over. I'll get a fire going. I'll be right there. I can't wait for more tomato clubs. Here. The sandwich sounds so good right now. Press space to unroll rope ladders. Okay. And then I climb down and I slide. That's sick. This music is so good. The birdies. This reminds me of like Chrono Trigger and like Final Fantasy. I've only played one Final Fantasy game, but I've played like a little bit of Chrono Trigger and I really like what I've played. Oh, the climbing. Oh, shoot! I don't want to get hit by those. We're shimmying on... What is this? I like how it's crystal changes. Oh, it's attacking me. There's no way I can get the jump on it, I don't think. Let's do a sun ball again. Le slug. Easy death. Fuck out of here. Jump, jump. Oh, the birdies. Oh, another one of these guys. Come on, man. Why are you always on my ass? Oh, are we gonna fight him together? Ha, huh. but it doesn't meet the face you made the first time you tried smashing a sunball. Oh, I can still hear the headmaster gloating. As I said, whether by paying attention in class or by recklessly attempting to hit a projectile with your open palm, you will learn the first rule of solar magic. To be fair, you did learn. Oh yeah, that one only took once. You ever miss those years? Before training, just being kids. Always daydreaming and getting in trouble. And making mistakes. I'm sorry, Valer. I didn't mean. It's okay. I understand why he wouldn't want to join us after what happened. It's just... I wish he had said goodbye, you know? After ten years of not seeing his face, just to know that he's alright. And that we're still friends. Oh, I'm sad. I'm a sad boy. Why did we have to get ahead of ourselves anyway? Oh, girl. Who's Gara? I'm so excited for this game. <laughs> it's already so cool. Ten years ago in the village of Moon Cradle.
my weapon will be something that hits really hard. And I'll pick a fast one. We'll be unstoppable. So this is him, okay. Imagine all the wonders we'll find after we leave Evermist Island. I want to see the sleeper. Who is that? What's that? Yeah, exactly. You've never heard of the sleeper? Stories say it's a giant serpent and it's been sleeping curled up around a mountain since even before there were traveling historians to record it. No way! I'm getting texts. Hang on, I'm being spammed like crazy. My apologies. Sure is, and it's super dangerous too. But don't worry, it can't wake up. Why not? Apparently there's holes in the mountain, and the wind blows through them, and that plays a melody that keeps it asleep. Whoa. I want to see it too. Uh oh. It's the bell. Erlina and Brewgaves are back. Quick, maybe we can catch them before they go to the academy. Alright, so now we're more kids. What is this? Save point. Okay, this is a save point. Oof. I like that. Can't do anything over here. We give off a light, that's cool. Probably because we're children of the solstice. That would make sense. I wonder if there are any hidden items. Who is this? Hey there, younglings. Are you still playing in that little cave down below? No, we just got out of it, man. Oh, it's so pretty. These crops are our main source of food. It's hard work, but I'm reminded every day when we all eat together that the effort is well worth it. Sure is, bud. Farming is nice. I've been enjoying it in Stardew recently. What's up here? Absolutely not- wait, we can climb. Okay, absolutely nothing, yep. Alright. I feel like there are items that we can grab, although I don't think they would, um... They would stay with us? I hope you're not getting into trouble again. Again? Are we troublemakers? Man. Just a bunch of mischievous little kids right now. Hey, wait. Oh, there's cutscenes? Oh. Yo. That's sick. There you are. Playing in your secret hideout again? What are those gems on their heads? We were training, I think I can use magic now. Is that so? Let's see it then. Oh damn. Whoa! Come closer, Zale. Open your palm and concentrate. What about you, Valer? Have you been training too? Every day! I bet I'm stronger than you now. No, you're not. Haha, <laughs> I'm sure you are. Come here then. Yeah! <laughs> Dude, she's... Whoa, easy now. I can't report to the headmaster if you knock me out. <laughs> We're just fucking with him. That was awesome, Zale. You did it. Solstice Warriors. Oh, this guy looks tough. If you were done with your babysitting duties, I would like to hear your report. Right away, Headmaster. Mm, okay. Can we go too? Believe me, once you enter Zenith Academy, you wish you hadn't. Let's go, Brew Gaves. <laughs> hey, the full moon is out. He's right! Want to go to the Forbidden Cavern again? We tried already, I can't open it. Yeah, but last time we decided maybe the full moon could make the room more sensitive. 
I'm sure it'll work, and Marine will be so impressed he'll take you two in for training right away, and then we'll finally be allowed to leave this island. I doubt it, girl. What if he gets mad and delays our training instead? Nah, no way. Well, we can worry about that after I open it. I mean, if I open it. Oh, she's cocky. Alright, let's go! Where are we going? Moon Cradle. I love these title cards, dude. Oh. What is in here? I know you wanted to catch your Lena and Brew Gaves, but it's starting to be late. Bedtime soon, okay? Who are you? You're just a random villager, dude. Don't tell me you want to go to bed. This guy. Man, zonked. I wonder if those taste good. They look like they'd taste good. Remember. <laughs> Typo. Remember, young ones, the Celestial Willow was a gift from the Great Eagle. Always treat it with respect. you say again? I feel like that might be important. The Celestial Willow. Is that what this is? Hmm. Oh, I'm going to figure out how to get my capture card working tonight. So I will be able to play like PS5 games and stuff and Switch games. I assume that's where they teleported off to get to the Zenith Academy? we go back to our cave now? I think we might. No? Hmm. There's all my caffeine gone. Sadness. Well, we'll find where to go eventually. Not up here. Yeah, no. Oh, oh, I see where to go. We're right over here, aren't we? Mm-hmm, this looks like it. Okay. Oh, now there's three little people. You can't see because of my webcam, but the... Oh! This is cool. I like this. Forbidden Cavern. Okay. You can kind of see it sticking out on the side. Save point? Something is about to happen, I feel like. We made it! Time to stop for a snack. Amen, brother. What? I'm not hungry. Yeah, we just left a few minutes ago. Look, it's not a real adventure if you don't eat a snack on the road. Real. Plus, I made something special for the occasion. Here. Dude, that sandwich looks fucking tasty. Oh my god. Nom 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 nom. Wow, that's really good. Yeah, no kidding. It looks good. Glad you like it. It's the jam. I used a bit of sap from the Celestial Willow. Oh. I don't know if it's a good thing. Yeah, you could get in trouble for that. Only if you tell. Hmm. Alright, how do I do this? Maybe like Erlina showed me? Try opening your palm and concentrating. You got this, Valer. Oh shoot, what's happening? Oh! Did she do it? I knew it! It worked? I did it. Yeah, you did. I finally did it! Look at that little, <laughs> little victory dance. So what now? The headmaster must have heard the bell ring. Do we just wait for him to show up? Might as well enter, it can be our first adventure. Yeah, and then the headmaster will know we're not afraid. This is exciting, let's go! I'm nervous, man. 
Forbidden Cavern. Oh, this music. Ooh. This place is pretty too. This whole game is pretty. Oh, it's the Le Slug. I thought every Mist Island was safe. I guess that's only true for Moon Cradle. Yeah? We should go back. They look dangerous. Yeah, good call. Oh, great. Watch out, there's another one. This is bad, we're surrounded. Maybe try to use your powers? We're not ready for this. I, I don't know, just try. Okay, let me focus. Watch out, it's preparing something. Come on, come on. Zale, watch out. Oh, did he lose his eye? Damn. Wow. It really hurts. I can't see. There's no escape. It's about to attack again. Oh, damn. I lost his eye. Oh, my God. So it was you. That explains why he has an eye patch in the trailer. Jeez. As resourceful as you are reckless, I see. Headmaster Garl needs help. It feels better. Like anyone born in Moon Cradle, a regular kid, what Garl needs is not to concern himself with the affairs of the Solstice Warriors. I'm really sorry, Headmaster. It was all my idea. Hey! Be thankful that the only cost of this lesson was an eye, young lad. As for the two of you, if you are so eager to receive training, I shall oblige. Follow me. Hmm. We're about to get training. Garl lost his eye though, poor guy. Make sure to treat the wound and soothe the poor kid. He's not the complaining type, but if the pain seems to return, please send for me. Understood, Headmaster. You will not see your friend for a very long time. If you have any parting words, speak them now. No! Can't he come and stay with us? How long is very long? Like a week? Ah, uh, the eagerness of youth. It takes years to properly train Solstice Warriors. Years? No way. But your friends have much to learn. I would suggest you use that time to reflect upon what happened today. With any luck, it would help you forget any ideas of getting involved with a burden that is not yours to bear. Guys, don't forget about me. Never. We'll train really hard. Maybe it won't take so long. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. It's gonna take forever, dude. Oh, we're going to the portal. Woo! Take me! Take me on the portal! Oh, that's not a portal. Oh, shoot. It's a levitating rock, my favorite. Welcome to Zenith Academy. In this ancient place of knowledge, you will learn everything you need to know in order to become true solstice warriors. We've been waiting for this for so long. When do we start? Tomorrow, though I believe a proper introduction is in order. Careful now. What's happening? We're going up again? Dude, come on. Ooh, pretty. I thought we'd stop there. Hello, welcome to the stream. I appreciate you tuning in. We're playing Sea of Stars. Really cool game so far. Haven't gotten too far in yet, just the prologue. Welcome to the classroom in the sky. Whoa, it's beautiful. I'm feeling a weird resonance like when I opened the Forbidden Cavern. Good on you for noticing that. Getting closer to the stars helps new recruits get acquainted with their innate magic. It shows great promise that you were able to feel it before, and Zale too, from what Erlina told me. Oh, it was just a small burst. They have no idea how much potential they have. It is probably for the best. 
Now in the many years you will spend at Zenith Academy, you will learn about the duties incumbent upon Solstice Warriors. Of the magic you are destined to wield and the evils it is meant to cleanse. We'll learn how to fight too, right? Naturally. You will spend your days training and studying, but most importantly, sewing. Oh god, sewing? That sounds boring. It does! I can assure you that it is not. A mandatory task nonetheless. All who would join our order begin by weaving their will into an enchanted piece of fabric, the staple of this solstice warrior. It is their most prized possession, guaranteeing light in the darkest places and a measure of protection against the minions of the flesh mancer. But first you must learn your, your duties, train until you cannot feel your limbs, and then train some more. Once both your body and mind are ripe with potential, you will create a magic piece of fabric worthy of the very stars. You will then be sent out beyond the Forbidden Cavern to meet with the Elder Mist, for it alone may officially grant the title of Solstice Warrior. Sewing. I understand it is not what you are hoping for, but it is what is required of you for the time being. Years of sewing. That will be all for today. I don't want to sew, man. We'll be spending a lot of time in these halls, so you should make yourselves at home. To your left is the training room, you are to go there first thing in the morning. Just above is the way to my chambers. It is off limits, of course. Of course it is. And to your right are the dormitories, just make sure you pick a bed aligned with your innate magic. Feel free to look around, then go to sleep when you're ready. Good night. Let's take a look around here, this place is pretty cool. Oh, look at this. Oh, man. This is the training grounds, huh? Oh, there you are. Marine finally decided that you were ready? Uh, yeah, I guess so. I guess we're ready. I don't really know what's to come of this. These ladders are useless. That's cool. We'll, uh, we'll try to go to his chamber, see what happens. Oh. We can't. That's cool. Who are you? I remember when Arlena and Brugaves were your age. They wouldn't stop running. Ugh, I feel old now. Me too. My check engine light is on. You're not alone. Ooh. Oh, this place is nice. Books, can I read? Sewing basics. No! I don't want to sew, man. I don't know how to sew. Just a bunch of old books. Alright, they're all the same thing. Hmm. I think this bed is for me. Let's find yours. Okay, so that's probably going to be on this side, yeah? Go to sleep? Yup. We're sleeping. That makes sense. The moon and the sun. The next morning in the training room. Good morning, fellas! Brewgaves! He's gonna teach us how to fight, I think. So you'll be our trainer? I wish. Erlina and I are leaving tomorrow, but the headmaster was kind enough to let us make your first day special. Are you ready for training? You bet! That's what I like to hear. I reckon these should be well suited for the two of you. Training sword? Training staff, okay. Alright, let's get to work. Are we actually gonna do anything? No? It's gonna skip it? Oh, we're running. <laughs> you got this, Valeria. Don't give up now. Never. Oh, shoot. She's picking up the pace. Dang. Come on, Zale. Keep up. I, I can do this. Damn. They're training hard. Push-ups, sit-ups. 99, 100. That's it for today. You did great. That was a lot. Feel free to take a break. Erlina will see you on the terrace whenever you're ready. Now, where's the terrace at? Probably down here. Hmm. <sighs> Oh, there you are. Ready to learn magic? Hell yeah, I am. Teach me how to fire a sunball from my hand. 
should feel as if something was scratching an itch far away from you. You must focus on the sensation and compel it to come closer. How do I do that? I think it's working. Hey, you startled me. I almost had it. Now mine's gone too. It's okay, just breathe slowly. I like her design. The little horns. Ooh. Try to release only when you feel its current passing in front of you. If your timing is true, it will manifest on three. One, two, three. Nothing. I think I felt it. It tickles. Right there, you just did the hardest part. We're naturals, I guess. I'm sure your training will go well, but one more thing. No matter what the headmaster teaches you, remember that this is your life and... Erlina! She looks angry. <laughs> Since you're done onboarding our new recruits in the ways of magic, I will provide the briefing for your next assignment. As for the two of you, it's about time you tried that sewing kit. Move along now. No! I don't want to sew! And making a magic piece of fabric worthy of the very star sure is a tall order. Yeah, I have no idea what shape to even make. At least the headmaster said we wouldn't get it right the first time. Well, I'm bored. Yeah, I don't blame you, Zale. Um... Can I talk to Valer? What are you doing? I'll just walk around a bit. Yeah. I felt that. I wouldn't want to sew for that long either, man. Where am I going? This way? I assume? You keep saying that, but the Fleshmancer left our realm for good when the Dweller of Strife was destroyed. So why can't they have a normal life? And you know the three of us can take the one on Wraith Island. We don't need them. Prudence, Erlina. There is no telling what threats we may face in the future. Zale and Valer were brought to Moon Cradle by the Great Eagle. It is not the place of the Headmaster to question such things, and neither is it yours. So how much is enough? What about Moyara? What about the twins? Who are they? Rugaves. Uh oh. Do not judge a sacrifice you cannot begin to comprehend. This conversation is over. They will study here while you carry on with your investigation. On the first eclipse after their training is complete, they will join us for the cleansing. Learn as much as you can until then. But... Let's just go, Brugaves. Hmm, what is the cleansing? And so they trained and they sewed for days and then for months. Faster now. They're starting to get it. Focus and then release. Hold on. I will be right back. Doggo was going bonkers for some reason. And the longer a dweller is left to its devices, the stronger it gets. This makes patrol duty essential. Let one grow for too long and you have a world eater on your hands. Against such a foe, even a legion of solstice warriors would be helpless. Since delaying only increases the chances of a world eater, cleansings always target the strongest dweller known to us. Headmaster, if dwellers are immune to our magic, how can we fight them? Ah, that is why cleansings are always performed during a total eclipse. In these moments only, the dweller's weaknesses are exposed. How many dwellers are left? Just the one known as the Dweller of Woe, but we cannot know for sure. The Fleshmancer just may have planted other seeds of evil before leaving our world. Thus, we must always remain vigilant. Headmaster? Yes, Zale? What happened with the Dweller of Strife, and who's Moyara? 
I'd like to know that too. That will be all for today. Bro, tell me your secrets, man. A few weeks later, a sound in the night. Zale, wake up! Valera, what is it? I think I heard a voice coming from the entrance. What time is it? Who cares? Let's go check it out! Alright. Dude, that's me when I get out of bed. I cannot- I don't want to get up, man. But I gotta. I gotta. Whether it's to check out a voice or whether it's to raid my fridge, I gotta go check it out. Coming from outside. Let's see. It's gonna be a big bad, isn't it? Hey, look! Oh, it smells good. There's a note. Oh, it's Garl. Dear Zale and Valer. If you're reading this, it probably means I got caught. I'm writing this as a failsafe, but I hope to see you in person. I made cookies filled with the Celestia Willow jam you liked. Aww. Oh, keep reading. I'm doing everything I can to be ready to leave when you graduate. In the meantime, I hope your training is going well. Oops, now the platform is almost up and I can see Moraine is there waiting for me. He looks very angry. I will try to jo drop the jar without him noticing. I guess that means I won't be able to try a visit again, but I'm thinking of you every day and I can't wait. I hope you like the cookies. Your friend until the end of time, Garl. Garl's the best. Let's go up on the disc to eat the cookies. Hey, I'ma tear up these cookies. I'ma tear them up. That's pretty. These cookies are amazing. I can't believe Garl was just there. I miss him so much. He seems well at least, after what happened in the Forbidden Cavern. Knowing him, I bet he smiled it away the next day. Haha, <laughs> you're probably right. I can't let something like this ever happen again. At this rate, it feels like we'll never sow something good enough for the Elden Mist. Probably not. It will happen, we just have to keep on training hard. I wouldn't be able to do it. Terrible at sewing, dude. I never even tried. And so they trained and they sewed for years. Oh, they're growing up. And then they trained and they sewed some more. Until one day. <sighs> now it's just us again. Zale, that's the one. I could feel it too. Hold on. Alright, I think I got it too. Let's go see the headmaster. We're all grown up now. We're in like normal time. That's a wall. Can't be running into that. There he is. Bro doesn't look a day older, are you kidding? Headmaster, we think we're ready. Why yes, the tingling of magic in the air has been building up for a few weeks now. Congratulations, moving forward there will be no more sewing. Thank god. I can deal with that. It will soon be time for you to leave on your journey to meet the Elder Mist. But before we get to that, Zenith Academy has one more challenge for you. Oh, our visitors just arrived. Perfect timing. Who are they? Ooh! Rugaves! My, you've both grown pretty strong. Hey, it's good to see you. Erlina and Rugaves are here to help you review the basics of combat. Check in with them, then it will be time for your final test. Want to review combat basics? Sure! Let's do it. Let's run it up. Let's get started, just attack me now in any order. D and A. Party members can use their turn in the order of your choice, but they can only act once per round. When all of your party members are in full round, the round resets. Okay. Seems easy enough. Let's do Valera first. 13. 12. Okay, so Valera has a slight attack advantage. Focus is paramount whenever you perform attacks and skills. Proper timing, you can increase the damage that you deal and sometimes even score additional hits. Let's see it. Press spaces that it connects to increase damage. Ooh, this is like, um... This is like Paper Mario. That was too soon, okay. 
Oh, I didn't? Hey! Alright. I did it again, let's go. Easy. Ouch, yeah, that's the gist of it. Most of your attacks and spells can be made more potent with proper timing. Some also can keep going with more hits until you miss. Remem remember to think of timed hits as a welcome addition when you pull it off, rather than something you're supposed to do perfectly all the time. So don't worry about it too much, just keep on trying and your sense for it will develop over time. Okay, now for timing your blocks, let's get the little guy in here. Who's the little guy? Oh! To be efficient in battle, you must pay attention to anything that starts moving. With proper timing, you can reduce the damage of any incoming attack or spell by blocking. Get ready. Press space as the hit connects to reduce damage. Okay. I don't think I did it right. Yeah. Still didn't do it right. Bru Come on now. Okay. I see, I see. That's how you do it. Remember to always stay alert. Some patterns will be harder to read than others, sometimes even requiring multiple blocks. But don't be too hard on yourself. No one is expected to block everything all the time. It's not about getting it perfect all the time, but rather building a growing sense for it. Just think of a timed block as a welcome bonus whenever you happen to pull it off. The key is remembering to read your enemies and to keep trying. One more thing. Damn! When a party member gets knocked out in battle, you'll need to switch to a more defensive mode. Alright, they'll get back up on their own at 50% HP. Once a KO star, one is removed at the end of each round. Um, okay. So I just have to survive, pretty much. Fuck, I messed up, okay. Gotta work on that timing still. Okay, I did it there. There we go. And now Valer is back. Awesome. And there you have it. Good work today. I'm sure the exam will be a breeze. Mm, we can do this as well. Ooh. When enemies prepare spells, you must do everything you can to prevent them. If you follow your senses, you can try dealing damage of the types that will break their concentration. Simpler spells will only demand normal attacks. Valera can do blunt damage and Zale has slice. Let's see you break this one. I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing. I guess I broke it, just like that. Now some spells will also demand magic damage to break. You can control your projectiles now, so let's give it a shot. Zale for sun and Valera for moon. Okay, so that's what that means. Okay, so we got that down. And now Moonerang. Ooh. Lunar Magic Projectile. They can bounce to multiple targets. That's sick. Holy shit, that was crazy. Well done, now you can sense your MP is a bit low, right? To keep up the pace in battle, you must remember to generate MP. Let's build it back up a bit. Hit me with a normal attack. Okay, easy enough. Did you feel that? You just got some MP back by attacking. In battle, awareness leads to victory. You must pace your spells with normal attacks to avoid ending up in a dire situation with no MP available to get out of it. And on the flip side, you should not hesitate to use spells when MP abounds, for a regular attack on a full bar is a waste of region. The key is to experiment, keep on varying your actions, and find the rhythm appropriate for each battle. One last thing. All battle actions, lock breaking especially, build your combo energy. When you have enough, you can spend combo points to perform powerful actions. Combos cost no MP and are lost after battles, so you should never hesitate to use them. Moraine told me you came up with your first combo attack. Show it to me. Solstice Strike. Ooh, okay, that does a lot. Yeah, you're strong, all right. Keep an eye out in your adventures. You're bound to come across scrolls that will teach you more combos. Good luck with the exam. I'm sure you'll do great. Marine will see you in the final test. I'm sure you'll do great. Okay, are you ready for the final test then? We're ready. 
من غير سبيجان The big day has finally come. Over the years, Zenith Academy has tested you in many ways. It will now test you one last time. Have you prepared your vows? Yes, Headmaster. Then speak them now. You go first, Sail. Okay. <clears throat> so that I may use my agility to cleanse this world and protect my companions, I will enter the world as a blade dancer. I chose the curved blade as it will not hinder my speed or reflexes. Welcome, blade dancer. Come on, Valera, I did it. Now it's your turn. <clears throat> so that I may use my strength to inspire hope and eradicate evil, I will become a battle monk. I chose the staff, for it won't break no matter how hard I strike. Welcome, battle monk. Today you must demonstrate mastery of everything Zenith Academy has taught you. Your final challenge awaits below. Please step aside. Oh, before I forget, here's a little something to keep your health full. Tomato Club! We got food! Now with faith in your abilities and purpose in your actions, take the leap and return as the new recruits of our order. I'm ready, Zale. Let's just go for it. We're gonna jump. Oh shoot, we're going way down. This music is cool. Oh, uh, okay, there's a ladder here. Okay, so those are rays, so now I can jump on them. Chest. Ornate stone. Now I wonder if I put that here. Ah, then those open. And now I have to fight, okay. You can surprise attack, okay. So we're gonna do a sun ball. Boom, you're dead. Oh shit, it does splash damage, okay. We got XP. We're gonna go right. Oh. We don't. We just go up. Okay. This music is starting a great adventure, I can already tell. We need another ornate stone. We can get it through here. Don't fall, dude. There we go. More enemies, of course. Alright, so we're actually going to switch to Veil here, and we're going to do Crescent Arc. Yeah. That did not do as much as I thought. I missed my block. There we go. Right, I'm starting to get the hang of it. The attacking I still need to learn, though. That rhythm is harder. There we go, we got him. 24 XP, not bad, not bad. Place this here. Glowy. We go up. Ooh. They haven't even been to the other side of the Forbidden Cavern yet, how could they understand? So you don't think we should at least try and explain? You've seen how strong they are. Word will be a walk in the park. Who's Word? Let's see them off then. Uh, what did that do? Is this Word? Exam mode engaged, brace yourselves. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, man. Shuffle weakness, physical? Okay, we're gonna use spells first. Our first boss. Resist. Okay, 
stress moment. Oh, I fucked it up. I don't know when to block! Weakness physical. Oh, okay, I see. So spells don't work well. Ow. So I have to wait a little bit. Bit longer, bit longer. Okay. Oh, now his weakness is moon. Okay, so now if I use this, it should be okay. Focus up. Hey, that's a lot of damage. Okay, wait. Too early still. Damn. Now his weakness is sun. Sunball. Easy. Easy money. Is he dead? You got him? Hey! Level up, let's go! Flashbang, a little bit of a flashbang. Ooh, I like this screen. Um... I want to lean into his... Physical attack first. And for Veil... Um... Kinda wanna lean into her bulkiness? So we'll do that. There we go. Congratulations, you've been trained well. Return now to your headmaster. Alright, he just says the same thing. Okay. Congratulations, Zael and Valer. You have learned everything Zenith Academy had to teach you. Ha ha! We did it! In record time, too. You must now learn of our ultimate power, the ability to use magic without using magic. But that knowledge is for the Elder Mist to impart. Come, the villagers have gathered to celebrate your departure. Hey, we're gonna get a party? Are we gonna get a feast? Are we gonna nom nom? This looks somber, this doesn't look like a party. It is on special days such as this one that the citizens of Moon Cradle are reminded the, of the importance of their duties. Where's Garo? I don't see him. Many years ago, Zael and Valer were delivered to us by the Great Eagle. Deliveries on two solstices in a row to boot. A very rare occurrence. Oh, I remember. Gran was so happy to get to meet two more before she passed. Oh, I miss Gran. All of you have come together to nurture and protect them, just like your ancestors have done for so many children of the solstice before. Zael and Valer, step forward so that the good people of Moon Cradle might gaze upon those who will soon join the ranks of the solstice warriors. This parading is ridiculous. It is a bit... yeah. Oh, let the villagers have their fun, that's all they get. Aw, you're okay with this now? You know I'm not. Now cheer with me as we send these young heroes out across the Forbidden Cavern to meet the Elder Mist. Hooray! To the gate! What do we do? I want to see Garl before leaving. I guess we have to play along for now. Fingers crossed that we can come back after meeting this Elder Mist. Fingers and toes. Zael, Valer, you must undertake this journey on your own now. We will not fail, Headmaster. Go now through the Forbidden Cavern and atop the mountain trail to seek audience with the Elder Mist. Learn how to use magic without using magic, and you shall then enter the world as true Solstice Warriors. May Luana's light might protect you. May Solon's light guide you. Here, this should keep you fed for a little bit. More food, let's go. If your adventure feels a little tough, you can take a look at these. Amulet of Storytelling. Sequent Flare. Received your first two relics. 
Whether you prefer a lighter challenge or are looking to push yourself to the max, relics offer a range of options. Remember to keep an eye out for merchants. Selling any valuables you find will keep you well fed and well equipped. Now, wherever your adventures take you, you must remember your first assignment. After the Elder Mist sends you out into the world, you must secure passage to Wraith Island in time for the next eclipse. And do keep on training, for a dire cleansing awaits us. I still can't believe he wants them fighting a dweller already. That's Moraine for you. We weren't much older the first time. Yeah, but we'll find a way. Safe journeys, and may you cleanse this world. Everyone's cheering us on. They have a lot of faith in us. We must be pretty special. Can I... Can I go back and save? Can't go back now. Okay, we have to meet the Elder Mist. There is a save point. Okay. So I'm going to end this episode off here. Or not episode, like it's on YouTube. I'm going to end the stream here. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, make sure to drop me a follow. Uh, if you want to see this VOD and some other stuff that might not make it to Twitch, uh, you can follow my YouTube. It's in my About Me, as well as my X, where uh, I post stream updates and my Discord server. And yeah, thank y'all for watching. I'll catch y'all later. I really enjoyed this game. I'm going to be playing it a lot more on stream. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.